Hello friends, uh, in this tutorial we will learn how to use decision stage uh, in Process Studio. So let us start with the example by creating a process. Let me give a description to my business process. Now double click it. So let us suppose uh, if we want to compare two numbers and want to know which is the largest number, we can use the decision stage in Process Studio. Like any other language, uh, we have if statement or if and else conditions so the true part is executed and if the condition is false then the else part is executed similarly uh, we can use the decision state which has uh, more than one outbound links which could be connected to the other state based on the condition whether it is true or false so let us first uh, take a very simple example of checking which number is larger. So in my tutorial on the data item, I shown you how you create a variable. Let me have one variable one. It is of number type. Let me assign some value. Let me create another variable, variable two of having value 345 now I want to show some message based on my condition let me have another message on uh, that item that will hold the message. It is of string type. Now the decision stage is in diamond shape. Let's see the properties of the decision stage. Here we can give any meaningful name to your stage. Check which number is larger. Now here we can select the variables. Now just drag and drop in the expression window. Then, so here we are where we are matching a condition where variable one is greater than variable two. So if that is a condition, if it is true, right, then a message should be displayed. Here, let me sh put some message. Variable one is greater than variable two. And let us hold that message into the message it item. Okay. And uh, some I'm given some meaningful message, false message. And hold this message. So let me connect using the link start 
true, false, and uh, let me connect with so here it is what is it is doing let us see here the program will start the condition is being compared where 1 is greater than where 2 we have assigned the value and uh, based on the condition now this part will be executed if the condition is true here we are passing the message which will be hold into the variable message now let us run it so you can see since the condition is false so the process studio will execute the false link and here the message would be printed variable 1 is less than variable 2. Now if we change the condition uh, as okay that means variable 1 is less than variable 2 and run the program again will find the true message is executed. So this way you can use the decision stage in your process studio to evaluate which stage or which business process need to be executed. In many times we need to compare more than one conditions like uh, we have if A is greater than B and B is greater than C then what should happen. So what we can do here, we can have another condition. Let's suppose I have one more variable. We have variable 3, which will have integer some value to 6. Now we can use add operator to compare variable 3 is also greater than less than variable 2. Now here what we are doing is we are going to compare two conditions. Variable 1 should be less than variable 2 and variable 3 should be less than variable 2. Now you can use uh, multiple conditions using AND operator or OR operator. Now let us evaluate this condition. Now variable 2 is greater than 34, variable 2 is also greater than 56. So two part is executed. So in this way we can have multiple AND or OR conditions. Sometimes we need to have a nested IF conditions like in Java we put some conditions then we say ELSE IF then some condition then LOCK. So what we can do here we can have another conditional statement let have another variable, variable 4. Let us validate another condition. If var 4 is less than variable 2. Okay. Now check which number is larger. Okay. Now, what we will do, we will have another message. And we will name it as message 1. Message that should be message 1. 
okay now we'll have another calculation stage which will print some message an equal message here what we will do we will message saying that variable two is greater than variable four and we'll store the message output into a variable message one and let us display message okay and this is for two part let us create another copy of it you can create a copy by just control c and control v now here fails part where it is less than now what we will do if this condition is true then another condition should be matched and if this condition is true then it should go to here and if this condition is false then it should go here and finally it should terminate into this and this should also terminate into it let me arrange properly let me run it so now you can see you have multiple decisions here variable 1 is compared with variable 2 and uh, variable 4 is also compared with variable 2 because variable 2 is the largest value so all the true conditions will be satisfied let us run again here it will go to the true path then again it will compare with four again two part and this way you can have uh, multiple conditions within your process studio using the decision statements so decision statement has two outbound link true and false true part will be executed when the condition is matching and is coming true similarly uh, if you highlight your if you highlight uh, uh, if you select the decision then you will see the expression which you have mentioned under the expression window of decision stage uh, you can see that condition over here so let us continue with the next session thanks for watching if you have any doubts then please do connect me at suresh kumar agra@yahoo.com thank you